the western countries they call a cup of coffee a cup of joe so should we name a cup of chai something like should we give it a name it could be anything please let me know your suggestions in the comment section down below and maybe we can make it famous as famous as a cup of joe Hey guys, Harsh here, and welcome back to Technolobe. It's finally happening. I'm finally comparing the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max with the Poco X3. Now, today in this video, I'm gonna help you make a choice between the Poco X3 Pro and Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, or the Note 10 Pro as well, for that matter. So sit back, relax, and have your cup of chai. Now, I'm going to keep this comparison short, brief, and to the point because I don't want to waste anyone's time. So let's get into it. Xiaomi and Poco have very good options in the market this year. Poco X3 Pro is a performance-based smartphone, like it has a very good processor that is the Snapdragon 860. And on the other hand, Redmi Note 10 Pro Max is a very well-balanced phone in all the aspects. So they have given us two solid options, and it comes down to the differences between both of these phones. First major difference is in terms of that display. So Redmi Note 10 Pro Max has a 120 Hz Super AMOLED display. It is Full HD Plus, and on the other hand, Poco X3 Pro has a Full HD Plus 120 Hz LCD display. Now it's a no-brainer that AMOLED is better than LCD for media consumption. So if you consume a lot of media on your smartphone, like Netflix, Hotstar, YouTube, or in general scrolling through Instagram, for all those things, Redmi Note 10 Pro Max is better because of that AMOLED display. Deeper blacks, punchy colors, that great contrast ratio. AMOLED displays are just very good, and Note 10 Pro Max is no exception. It has an excellent AMOLED panel. Now, with that being said, both of them are 120 Hz, but 120 Hz on Poco X3 Pro is way better than Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, and there's just one reason for it. That is Snapdragon 860. So Snapdragon 860 is able to handle 120 Hz in a better way as compared to Snapdragon 732G on the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. It is a noticeable difference. But overall in terms of the display, I'm still going to give it to the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. The second major difference is in terms of performance. Poco X3 Pro has Snapdragon 860 which is kind of a flagship level processor and on the other hand Redmi Note 10 Pro Max has Snapdragon 732G which is a mid-range processor. So if you do a lot of heavy stuff on your phone like gaming on PUBG for 2 3 hours or any sort of other heavy work then it's a no brainer you should go with the Poco X3 Pro because you are getting far superior performance at the same price point so for performance based use cases Poco X3 Pro is the clear choice Redmi Note 10 Pro Max is a pretty normal phone in terms of performance like you can game on it but i would not recommend it for long gaming sessions it's not that good of an experience as compared to poco x3 pro note 10 pro max is pretty good for normal stuff now next up let's talk about the in hand feel so in hand feel of the redmi note 10 pro max is way superior as compared to poco x3 pro note 10 pro max is slim lightweight very comfortable to hold and it feels like a modern smartphone On the other hand, Poco X3 Pro feels like a brick. It's a thick phone, it's heavy, and it's not a good experience as compared to Note 10 Pro Max. So the in-hand feel is definitely better on Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. Now, before I made this video, I asked you guys on Twitter if you had any questions about both of these phones, and there were a bunch of questions around the cameras of both of these phones. Like a lot of people wanted to know which phone is better in terms of the camera experience. So I went for a camera test, and to my surprise, both of them perform very similar. Now with that being said there are some minor differences like the white balance images from Note 10 Pro Max have a slight purple tint and images from Poco X3 Pro have a slight green tint it's not a major thing it's just a slight purple and green tint and both of them are very similar to the actual scenario so the actual scenario is somewhere in between now there are some differentiating points in terms of the cameras now in terms of video shooting Poco X3 Pro is better because it has EIS at 4K 30 as well the footage is more stable as compared to Note 10 Pro Max and it looks good as well Also Poco X3 Pro has night mode for the ultra wide angle camera which is missing on the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max so please keep that in mind. Now the final point over here is that macro camera. So Redmi Note 10 Pro Max has a superior macro camera like a way better macro camera as compared to Poco X3 Pro. All in all in terms of the camera point I'm going to say it is a tie. You will be happy with the camera experience on either of these phones. So I don't think that camera is a major differentiating factor. Both of these phones perform really good in terms of the camera. Now what about battery life? Battery life has also been very similar on both of these phones. In my testing period, Poco X3 Pro did last longer, but not by a lot. 
So in terms of battery life, I'm going to say both of them are excellent and both of them come with a 33 watt fast charger inside the box itself. So that is also same. In terms of software, both of them come with MIUI 12 out of the box and I have not seen ads on either of these phones. Xiaomi have realized that ads are not good and that's why they are not pushing ads. But with that being said, both of these phones do get notifications from the Get Apps application, which is very annoying. So if someone from Xiaomi is watching this, please fix that. Get Apps needs to stop sending us notifications. And yes, both of these phones will receive the MIUI 12.5 update. I'm pretty sure that Note 10 Pro Max is going to receive it before Poco X3 Pro, but let's see what happens. All in all, as I said, both of these phones are solid options under 20,000 rupees. You guys need to decide what is your major use case. If you do a lot of gaming or heavy stuff on your phone, then I'm going to say go with the Poco X3 Pro. You will be very happy. On the other hand, if you don't do a lot of gaming and want a phone which is modern, good looking, thin and light with great cameras and a great display, then you should go with the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. I hope that I cleared your confusion. If you want to buy either of these phones, I will make sure to drop a link to them in the description box below. So anyway, this was my comparison between the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max and Poco X3 Pro. Do let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.